Hi, my name is Johan Falk. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, Scandinavia. This is uh, the second video about Skill Compass. In this video and a few more, I'm going to talk about the site skillcompass.org. I've set up a local copy of that uh, site here, which I'm going to play around with in a few videos. Uh, this is one example of how to use the Skill Compass modules. I want to emphasize that it's an example. Skill Compass is a set of modules uh, created to make it easier to, to make sites where you teach or learn things. And this is one example of how you can use it. I want to use it for math and physics, but this is for Drupal right now, so I'm going to show you that. Um, okay, so in this video I'm going to just give you an introduction to the site, how to use it, uh, start using it. And in the next videos I'm going to show you some of the more cool stuff on the site. Um, yes, so when you go to the site you'll uh, see this kind of map or a tree or something, squid, with uh, uh, a topic down here called Drupal, then uh, these are called subtopics. Uh, and these are meant to help you uh, learn what you, uh, well, understand what you might want to learn in Drupal. So you can click on these, that's not obvious at first, I think, but you can click on these and drill down and see what you could learn. And these are organized by topics and subtopics, so site building contains these other topics. You could also, I think this is the best way to browse the topics, but you could go to what's called advancement here, and then instead of inclusion, these are like more and more complex. If you don't know anything, you might uh, learn how to install Drupal or use views basics that might require some other things actually. Content management might be a good place to start. You can click here and see that it, when you learn installing Drupal, then you can learn installing modules or moving a Drupal site. If you learn content management, well, then you can learn basic site building and then you can learn to use the features module and things. Uh, but I think the subtopics, uh, topics and subtopics uh, tree is easier to understand. You can also like hit this search tab here and search for topics manually. That's kind of boring. I have intentionally not included a very good search function on the site. I might change that later on, but we'll see. Um, here again on the subtopics, um, if you want to, when you found something you want to learn, like uh, say basic site building here, you can click on this header here. There's there's some kind of short description of it. You can go directly to some top learning resource here. But let's go to the, the topic page. You get some uh, description of this topic, so you kind of understand what it is. And then there's a list of learning resources added to this site. All of these, basically, all of these are uh, just links to other pages on the web. So this one called Drupal.org Site Building Guide. You can see, well no one voted for it yet, but you can see what other people think about it. Uh, you can go to the resource and then just direct it to the, the page on Drupal.org in this case. Could be any web page. And you'll get some other suggestions of, of what you could learn. Uh, some other resources use on this same topic. And there are some uh, resources that are collections, not individual pages, but collections of pages. Now, this was not one of them. Let's see. Now, let's close this one. Here, like Learn Drupal 7. And here's a list of uh, um, uh, resources that you can use. These are all individual pages on this site that links to other pages uh, on the web. But they're organized now in, in a certain list, in a certain order. So you can check these out and then browse to the previous and next one using these links here. That's kind of useful, I think. Um, yes, so uh, one more thing. If you go to a topic and you don't really have a lot of uh, learning resources, here there are six of them, so that's kind of useful. Um, but you, and the page is also complemented with the top Google results for uh, this topic, like Drupal Learn and then the topic name, and this is what uh, Google returns. Uh, it could be uh, kind of useful. Um, yeah, that, that's the starting point of it. Uh, in the next video I'm going to show you what you can do when you log in, like uh, marking that you learn stuff and things like that. We'll see you there. Um, thank you for listening. Goodbye.